Good morning, Natural Heart family. It is day eight of Happy Heart Month. I am Dr. Lauren Latanza, naturopathic physician here at Natural Heart Doctor. Uh, we've got day eight for you. I'm going to be talking to you about why you need to detox, how to best detox. I'm happy to answer any questions about the um, safest and most effective ways to uh, detox your body. But first, I want to talk about what in our environment, what in our world, what in our lifestyles make it so that we all do really need to detox. I hope you're having a great start to your morning. Again, we are on day eight. Hopefully, everybody's been following along. We've got great information coming to you every single day here, helping you all get to your 100-year heart. Um, the information is going to continue. I know that Carrington did a really great job yesterday talking about fasting. So hopefully we got some questions answered, maybe um, segueing into trying some intermittent fasting in your life. Um, so she is a great source of knowledge for all of that. So I want to go ahead and share my screen with you so we can start talking about detox. Let me pull this up here. All right, so I am talking about detoxing your body for your heart health and why we need to do that. So some things that are so incredibly common in our uh, world these days, it's um, first and foremost, BPA. So BPA is the number one manufactured plastic. It is all over the place. So just some examples up in the top right corner, food containers, beverage containers, baby bottles, which is just wrong um dental dental fittings so that you may you know sealants have them actually just in your mouth um you know pvc piping and these digital media i don't know that anybody still uses cds anymore but uh, all kinds of objects that are lined with bpa made out of bpa so it's a plastic that um, is just kind of omnipresent. It's actually used as a sealant on receipts. So if you get a receipt, fold that over so that you're not exposing yourself to um, BPA through grabbing your receipt because your skin is another organ of elimination, um, but also can absorb through your skin as well. So I will get to that a little bit later. Um, but this one study in particular, and there are a lot of studies on BPA and its negative effects on our health. Um, Several epidemiological studies indicate that BPA exposure is associated with increased risk for cardio cardiovascular diseases, including coronary artery disease, angina, heart attack, hypertension, and peripheral artery disease. Um, and that's really just kind of the short list. Over here, I have other things. So high blood pressure, heart attack, obesity, cancer, infertility, um, immune system dysfunction. So anything that's a plasticizer can affect your hormone, hormonal um, pathways. So lots of negative effects downstream. See some more people hopping on this morning. So really happy to have you all here. Thank you for joining me today, talking all about detoxing for heart health. Um, another really kind of omnipresent chemical in our environment is glyphosate. I know that Dr. Wolfson was talking about this when he was talking about why we should all be eating organic. Um, I just thought that, so I know that he pulled a lot of really great studies for that as well, relating uh, glyphosate exposure to cardiovascular diseases. But this one was really interesting. I just thought that, um, so this one clinic um, studied the same um, patients and over 23 years, found um, from 1993, 96, 2014, and 2016, um, th at the beginning of this study, so around 93, there was um, very few people had detectable levels of glyphosate in their urine. As of 2016, 70% of the study had glyphosate in their urine. So it's become increasingly more prevalent. So although it's become better known that it's you know really detrimental to our health, it is still used and it's still very, very present in our uh, produce. So be sure that um, you're buying organic as best you can to avoid glyphosate and other pesticides. Um, some more environmental chemicals. So phthalates are gonna be like a plasticizer. Um, phthalates and parabens are two things that I think, again, maybe becoming a little bit more prevalent. People know that they should avoid them, but it's kind of, just taking the time to do some label flipping because they 
are kind of just found in any and everything. So it could be home and body care products. It could be your laundry detergent. Um, so phthalate is a plasticizer. So anything that's um, made to be a little bit more malleable, a little bit more flexible, um, could potentially be a source of phthalates. So it's really just going to be some label flipping. Want to avoid that. Um, again, really repro reproductive and the cardiovascular system is very negatively impacted by phthalates as an ingredient. Um, and then parabens is like an antimicrobial, so helping things remain shelf stable um, and not allowing for microbial growth in them. Um, studies show that it's um, increased obesity, um, which, as we know, is going to be, a, you know, an increased health risk for high blood pressure, diabetes. So if it's going to be impacting you to become potentially um, at a higher risk for obesity, not going to be a, a great thing to have um, in your cabinets, on your shelves, in your house. If it's not natural, keep it out of your house. And this, again, I just named a couple BPA, phthalates, um, parabens, glyphosate. So that's really just a short list of things that we're exposed to every day. We have, um, again, as Dr. Wolfson was talking about, with clean water. Um, so our water systems are really not great. So what's in your water? Um, are you exposed to these um, exhaust fumes day in and day out? Probably. Um, again, more and more um, herbicides, pesticides, and then considering indoor air quality, which we will go more in depth with uh, later this week and um, later on this month, definitely. So we know that you know, we're all exposed to all kinds of things just in our lifestyle. Even if we really do our best to keep things clean, keep things organic, we do use natural products in our home and body care. Um, ultimately, we just have to stay ahead and do some detox. We all need to detox. Um, I really suggest doing um, some testing. So this test, you've heard us talk about it probably a couple times now. So this is our triple toxin test. It tests for 31 mold mycotoxins, 30 heavy metals, and 27 environmental chemical toxins, all of which, so the glyphosate, BPA, phthalates, parabens, all of which are on this test. Like we always say, test, don't guess. Um, see where you're at. Um, don't take my word for it that you need to detox. Take the test. It's a urine, urine sample, so minimally invasive. We can ship the kit um, really anywhere to you. We want to get a first morning void, so that's the most concentrated urine sample of the day. Um, and then we just test it for all of these different things that your body is working to eliminate all the time. Um, and so that's really the best way to figure out exactly what maybe your sources are. So if you're, again, doing your best to really mitigate all of these sources of exposure, um, but it still shows up in your urine, that's really a good way to um, flip on the light bulb and be like, you know what, there's this one product I buy that does come in plastic, or there's, um, you know, I just haven't swapped out my laundry detergent yet. Um, and you can see that just showing up in your urine and it does, it gives you, it doesn't say just, yes, it's there or it's not, it gives you an amount. So it can be, you know, in this moderate range of maybe you're sometimes exposed to it, or it can be in a high level, which means you are consistently exposed to this toxin and that will therefore accumulate in your body, potentially re-metabolize and cause further problems downstream. Um, so we love Cellcore. Cellcore Biosciences is um, a really, um, I don't want to say up and coming because they're definitely like a bigger company, but I think really cutting edge in terms of how they do supplements. Um, so this here, I always refer to like your toxic burden, like a toxic bucket. So how full is your toxic bucket? You can see here all of these organs of elimination that as you continually compound these toxic substances, they will just accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. And then when you get this spillover, that's where you get symptoms. So you get some brain fog, you get some high blood pressure, you get, um, I mean, really, you name it, uh, thyroid, any other hormone dysfunction, um, you get, you know, poor skin, you get some rashes. So any sort of um, downstream effect, when you have too much toxic burden built up, we really need to get ahead of that um, and detox. And I know that a lot of people kind of don't, I, either it sounds kind of sexy, like, oh, yeah, I, I need to detox, I'm detoxing my cells, or you hear that and it sets off a red flag because you know that detoxing does not feel good. 
Um, it's really not um, a fun thing to just unload all of your toxic substances into your bloodstream. So, you know, you don't have to feel poorly if you're on a, on a really good detox program, if you're working with a practitioner who knows what they're doing to help you along the way, um, because a lot of people really do have um, some negative effects from detoxing. Um, you might have headache, muscle aches, fatigue, um, worsening of the symptoms that you're trying to alleviate. So I think that um, we've done a really nice job with so many of our patients doing cell cores, different um, protocols. And there are a couple different protocols. There's a couple different ways that we work um, those into patients' plans, um, depending on, you know, what it is that we're up against, um, how sensitive these patients are, um, how long they may have had these toxic substances accumulating, how sick they are, so on. There's so many variables, um, but working with a practitioner to make sure that you don't feel bad while you're going through that um, is, I think, really the most important part. Um, so get the testing done. Talk to a practitioner. We, um, you know, myself, Dr. Wolfson, all of our health coaches, very well versed with CellCore. We have a really good relationship with them. So if there's something, you know, any specific medications that, you know, it, maybe it's a contraindicated, we work closely with the um, owners, the all of the um, formulators at CellCore to make sure that we're doing this safely and effectively. Um, and working this into different phases. So we make sure that your organs of elimination are primed to get rid of all of these substances. Make sure that we're supporting your mitochondria, which is um, your energy sources in your cells, um, so that we make sure that you don't just feel fatigued because life goes on. We gotta make sure that you're feeling up to it and feeling better and not feeling worse. Um, before I go any further, I wanted to uh, slide in the word of the day, which is holistic. Um, I'd love to hear what holistic means to you as a naturopathic physician. Holistic to me means um, that I'm not just treating a person's symptoms. So I have a patient that's in front of me or, you know, on Zoom or telephone, whatever, um, you know, modern day patients look like. Um, but I know that they are not just you know, a, a heart patient. I know that they're not just a thyroid patient, that this thyroid is part of their entire being and that that encompasses, you know, all of their organs, all of their bodily functions, all of the, what their day to day entails. So if it's a high stress job, if it's being a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, taking into account every single um, component of that person. So that to me is holistic medicine. So mind, body, spirit, energy, all of the things um, all wrapped into one. It's not just treating one symptom or one organ system. So share with me what your version or what the word holistic uh, means to you. Um, also, I mentioned that I would get back to um, the skin as an organ of elimination and as an organ of absorption as well. So it's not just things that we put into our mouth, um, but um, our skin. So our skin in conjunction. Um, so really using sauna is such a great way to detox your body. So detoxing with some supplements. So using binders to really get in there and bind up different um, components that need to be taken out of your body, making sure that we have your organs of elimination open. So supplements to kind of really help all of that arena, but then really kind of pushing gently with sauna to um, further the detox pathways. Um, particularly through the skin. So here's a, a really great slide um, that was used in a paper um, by Rhonda Patrick, who has a lot of great work on uh, detox and so many different pathways in the body, but she's just great. Um, so she used this image, which I thought was a really great way to depict um, what are called heat shock proteins. So um, the idea of heat shock proteins is something when you get really hot. So when you get into a sauna after maybe 20 minutes or so, then you um, stimulate heat shock proteins, which um, so the idea of hormesis is like a little bit of stress is actually good for the body. So getting into the sauna, that's um, causing a stress on your body. But ultimately, it's actually beneficial. Um, we don't want to stay in this, you know, 120, 150, 200 degree sauna all the time because then we just cook and that's not um, going to get us to our 100 year heart. That's for sure. Um, but uh, going to definitely cause a little bit of stress to ultimately um, provide some benefit 
so, so great for um, improving blood pressure. So dilating those blood vessels, we all know we need more nitric oxide. Um, so shunting the blood to the periphery, opening up those blood vessels, um, getting rid of some extra fluid on the body, um, getting rid of some of these um, toxins that have accumulated. Um, this is a paper that was shown um, that arsenic, cadmium, lead, mercury. So earlier this week or last week, I had talked about some of the things that you can accumulate through poor cooking, um, like uh, pans and pots and pans that can accumulate. So all of these metals, which are tested on that vibrant panel, um, they can accumulate in your body. And it was tested after sauna that sweating will um, bring these metals out of your system. So better out than in, absolutely. So sweat it out. Um, I would highly encourage you to definitely go back and listen to um, the podcast that I recently did with um, Dr. Jess. We were talking about the importance of, um, so you kill whatever pathogen, so be it a mycotoxin. Um, she uses this um, I, don't know, I guess it's a phrase that she um, has really popular popularized um, kill bind sweat. So killing the mycotoxin, whatever microbe, if that's in fact what is um, has accumulated. Otherwise, you know, these metals, these phthalates, parabens, environmental toxins, and then you want to bind them up. So that's where we use binders. That's where we use um, these um, the carbon technology from cell core to really get into the cells, bind it up and not let go so that you do not feel the negative effects of detox. And then the third portion of that is sweating it out. So kill, bind, sweat, like Dr. Jess says. So go back, listen to that podcast. Um, really, really great information from Dr. Jess and um, using all of our resources um, be it supplements, avoidance in the home and diet, um, and then sweating it out through exercise, through sauna. Um, we have a great relationship with Sun Lighten, who has um, been very generous, generous in offering $250 off the solo sauna or up to $600 off a sauna cabin. So here's the link here. So naturalheartdoctor.com slash Sunlight and sauna, they use, um, you know, low EMS, they have the um, infrared, which is really great at getting the um, heat deeper into the tissues. Um, so really um, highly recommend them, but definitely want to sweat it out as best you can get a good um, practitioner to talk to you about the supplements, making sure that you're not feeling badly while you are detoxing. I'm um, happy to answer any questions. I wanted to um, get back to some of the comments here. I love, thank you so much, Shelly and Becky, for sharing your um, descriptions of the word holistic, which is the word of the day. Um, using, their, using the sources God put on the planet with us, absolutely. So taking in the good, um, avoiding the bad. We, as uh, you know, human nature, we just kind of have to get out of our own way. Uh, treating the whole whole body, absolutely, whole body, finding the cause. It's not just, like I said, if you are just have, you know, brain fog, it's not just because you're getting older. It's not because you, this is just how you are. Or you're just not as sharp as you used to be. Do not accept that as your normal. Um, we, can, we can dig deeper than that. We can get you feeling better um, because this is, again, about health span and not just lifespan. We want you feeling your most vibrant and your best through all the years of your life um, as long as we can. Um, so I want to thank you again for sharing your morning with me today. I hope that this was valuable information for every single one of you. I'm always happy to answer more questions. If you're on Facebook, um, just tag me in a comment. If you've got follow-up questions, I can always get back to later in the day for those of you that are not catching the live. Um, so don't, um, don't hesitate to ask any questions. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, oral health and your heart. So very, very important. We've got another um, great podcast episode that I did with a um, holistic dentist recently. So we're going to be bringing that to you tomorrow, talking with Dr. Wolfson about oral health um, and Chinese medicine. The mouth is directly connected with the heart. So really great information coming to you there. I hope you're all off to a great start this morning and we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.